What are the origins of your username? Oh shit, cool. Is that an eagle? We call him the vulture because he swoops in and solves cases that are almost solved, and takes the credit for himself. Can't believe why nice Jean would want to marry such a man. When I played WoW, way back in the day, I had a raid leader named Sean. Now, Sean was a really nice guy and our crew was pretty tight internet friends. Sean had speech impediment and would regularly say the phrase guys it's time to get soeus, stumbling over his R's. Unknown to the guild at the time, Sean had terminal cancer. He eventually stopped showing up to raid nights, and after he died, in accordance to wishes, his father came into vent one night to tell everyone. I named every character I made after that some variation of the word soeus, that way no matter what group I was with they would audibly say something like hey, soeus pick up the ads, and it became a way that I honored my friend, because in a way he never really left. When I was younger I got angry and punched a burger my mom made me, and she said don't beat your burger. I need to know more about her attitude behind the comment. Was it the good humor response it sounds like, or was it like god damn it, if you beat that burger again I'm going to sell you to a Chinese family so you can make iPhones. You spoiled little cunt. Married a woman way out of my league almost 15 years ago. Lost her to cancer a few years ago, even so, I count myself a very lucky man for having been loved by her. I came here to laugh, not to weep. That is the sweetest sniffle thing. My buddy used to make his Xbox GT these ridiculous names that always got banned eventually, and I stole this from him. Thanks Kevin. Shout out to the homie Kev. 14 year old me made this account with the intention of posting dank memes. Now I just argue with people about politics and shitpost, quite the evolution I must say. When I was in college my friends and I played a lot of online poker. There were free tournaments that, if you won, put you in tournaments that actually paid out money. So theoretically you could get free money by winning these free tournaments. There were tons of people in them, though, so we liked to troll in the chat to try to get people to quit or make bad moves. However, if you got reported they'd ban your account for a period of time. The thing was though, in order to report someone you had to actually type in their username. So I started using two Vs instead of a W, VV looks like a W, especially in the font the chat used. So when people tried to report my username they'd type Willy D rather than Vvilly D, and I would never get banned. I also found that if I tried to use Willy D on most websites that username would already be taken, and I'd have to put a string of numbers at the end. However, VVillyD is always available so I can use the same username in multiple places. I wanted my to be stupid. The fact no one else took it is just a miracle. Edit, wow, this blew up. My father made his accounts with U21 stroke, because of surfboat rowing, he was in the under 21s men's surfboat as a stroke, eventually he gave his account to me, and now I carry that on. And you will continue to pass this account down to the next generation together with the karma you earned. Intergenerational karma wealth is a very serious concern for the future of Reddit. How are new accounts expected to compete with people starting with millions of karma when they have nothing? Redistribute karma so everybody is equal. It was my late SOS favorite quote. And it seemed like the kind of morbid irony she would have enjoyed. It means never gonna give you up in old Gaelic. Is it sad that I misread your name as fetus? No. It is intended. Ha ha ha. My friend had this username, but he unintentionally deleted his profile, so I took his username. You filthy thief. Well tell me the story behind your username. Just my mom regrets me, and has said to me many times that she wishes she should have killed me at birth. But I love her more than anything but do think that I deserve it. Hey. You don't deserve that. Death or to be told that. You mom is an asshole. Love you, internet stranger. 
My main account has way too many NSFW subs, so I made a work account. Most people make alt accounts for NSFW content, not the other way around. I own it, I'm filthy. At work though, not allowed to be so filthy, so here we are. I used to play a soccer video game called PES 15, and it had a character creator where you could pick a commentary name from a list of pre-recorded names, and I just liked the sound of Nino. Then four years later when I made this Reddit account, I tried to pick the name Nino, but it was already taken so I made it Nino was taken. Funny story actually. You see, I had a botched circumcision. My penis was accidentally lacerated down the entire length of the shaft which caused the skin to partially slide off. Kind of like a banana peel, after the scar tissue fell out and my penis healed, I was left with two loose flaps of skin that ran parallel to each other down the entire length of my dick. Not only was the hood of my penis never fully removed during the operation, but now I have two extra fleshy appendages that collect all of the sweat and dead skin cells that would otherwise be a non-issue. As you can probably imagine, my body now produces a rather large quantity of smegma that I have to manually gather up several times a day. I can fill a ordinary Chobani yogurt container in about half a week. It makes for a pretty convenient package too. I needed an email address that would allow me to just say words so that people could type it in. I didn't want to give 37 numbers and symbols in an email address. So I came up with two words I'd never heard together and submitted it, and it worked. I wanted to start writing fanfiction so I needed a catchy username. I always loved the word Omega, so I was like I need to put that in there and Kenichi comes from one of my favorite anime Kenichi, the mightiest disciple. I work with kids abroad on resorts all over Europe, I teach them to sail and other water sports too. I'm known as the pirate due to my long hair and a tooth I knocked out from a diving accident, I also love food, love food as well as the seas and working with kids.